Hey guys, Mr. Happy here and welcome to my guide to Alexander, the breath of the creator on the normal difficulty. This fight can be unlocked after completing the eyes of the creator on the normal difficulty and unlocking this one in the hinterlands. It requires a minimum item level of 230 to enter with the duty finder. At the start of the instance, you'll just have to walk through and clear a few mobs before you get to the boss. Just watch the gob walkers near the end and their vulnerability up stacks. After clearing through a few packs of mobs, you'll come to the boss Lame Bricks Strike Box. This fight is broken up into three phases. If you'd like to skip to a specific phase, please use the annotations in the top left hand of the video. Lame Bricks' arena is different than most other arenas you're used to. First of all, along the walls is a lightning puddle that will stun, paralyze, and deal damage over time to anyone who touches it, so don't. There are also three buttons on the floor, each with their own effects. The northmost button causes lasers to shoot down the entire east and west sides of the arena vertically that deal high damage and place a powerful dot on anyone hit. The middle button causes three spike flails to hit the location of each button, dealing high damage. The southmost button raises spikes from the ground that prevent you from moving. If any players, the boss, or any ads step on a button, it will activate its effect if it is glowing at the time, which it is 90% of the fight. To prevent this, you can tank lame bricks in either the far north or northeast corner of the room. If you do the northeast corner, just beware if someone steps on the northmost button by accident. Also keep in mind that almost every mechanic here, if failed, will result in you getting a vulnerability up stack that includes the mechanics from the buttons. The boss himself will occasionally use trap and jump on a button himself, forcing you to deal with the mechanic. So just avoid any of the areas affected by whichever trap he selects. Lame Bricks himself occasionally does a room-wide AoE, a line AoE he aims at a party member, and a tank buster named Gob Rush Rush Gob, which does have a cast time. When you see it casting, be sure to use defensive cooldowns on it. He also has an attack that creates a line tether between him and another player. That player should position either south or west of the boss away from the rest of the party, as the following attack will hit anyone between the boss and the target. It deals less damage the farther you are from the boss, so create a short distance between you and him just to be safe. At around 70%, the boss will jump away, become untargetable, and move into Phase 2. Phase 2 is a race to kill the God Press R6 on the opposite side of the arena. It will spam cast Steamroller, which will knock back anyone near the God Press when it goes off. It actually will wreck you outright if you are in melee range when it goes off, so when it's about to finish casting, take a few steps back and wait for Steamroller to finish casting. If you fail to kill the God Press before it rolls over the entire arena, it's a wipe. While killing the God Press, Lame Bricks himself will also do some AoEs on the party. He will put red markers that drop fire AoEs, so spread away from each other if you're marked. He also does a split damage AoE, which you're used to by now a line AoE, which you've seen once before, and a room-wide AoE that you just need to deal with. One last thing to note, none of the buttons are active during this phase, so don't worry about walking over them. After you kill the Gob Press, Phase 3 will begin. At the start of Phase 3, the buttons will be inactive for a few seconds before becoming active again for the remainder of the fight. We bring Lame Bricks right back to the northeast corner of the room in order to tank him. He will begin using the attack Single Charge, while the charge is casting, you'll see him use one of two different symbols over his head. You'll need to pay attention to which symbol he uses in order to determine what his next attack will be. If the symbol looks like a down arrow, you'll need to move away from lame bricks to avoid a point blank AoE around him. If the symbol is a donut, you need to move into his hitbox in order to avoid a donut shaped AoE. Just do this and you'll avoid his attacks. Failure will result in being knocked back and getting the Volnup stacks. He will eventually summon a bunch of saws on the outside of the arena that just poke in and knock back anyone they hit. They don't move at all once summoned, so just stand in between them like you see here and move on. At around 20% or after enough time elapses, two goblins of fortune will spawn. Kill these ASAP as they will explode on the raid if not killed fast enough. At the same time, the saws will rise again and a few fire AoE markers will come out. Spread out for the markers, avoid the saw blades, pick up and kill the adds. If you don't kill them fast enough, they go boom, and you'll be good boom bye. At this point, the boss just keeps repeating the same mechanics until the enrage, or he dies. Didn't get to see enrage here, but like with the A9 enrage, it was about 11 minutes there, so I'd imagine it's similar here. As long as people are not randomly smashing the buttons in the middle of the room, it should go quickly. 
Thank you for watching my guide to Alexander, the breath of the creator on the normal difficulty. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share, and stay tuned for all my patch 3.4 guides. Anyway, thank you for watching, and until next time, take care.